Hey guys, how's it going? Ghost Super here today, and as you can see, I've got my tire aimed out a little bit because I'm going to show you how bad my tread's been getting. I'm down to the wear bars, and these things, they've been crap ever since I bought the car. Um, they're the Continental, I think these are just Conti Pros, Connects, yeah, and man, they are garbage. I can't even stress to you enough how bad they are in the rain. Mind you, they are down pretty low, and I probably had a bit of tread on them when I bought them, but again, um, just garbage ever since I bought them. Every time I hit a puddle, I'd be like, I'd see my traction control going nuts, and yeah, not worth it. So, what I ended up doing is the one that's rolling away right here, is I went and tr thought I'd try another Continental, which everyone I know loves, and that is the DWSs. Now, I wanted to... I didn't want to buy anything new because again I wanted to try them so what I did is I found these off of uh, a buddy and he had them up for about 350 bucks so I grabbed them for 350 and they got like 90% tread life left in them so I'm gonna throw these on I'm gonna give these a test and if I like them then you know when I do up my new rims and stuff then I will of course rebuy some for the new rims but for right now I just want to play with them and try them out and see how they do but stay tuned, I'm going to show you a little bit of uh, what it looks like, of course, after them. And then I can also probably show you a little bit of the mounting and balancing. Alright guys, so another quick thing for you is we got these caps that which you used to pick for. Um, and as you can see right here, one of them has a wheel lock. So, if you have a wheel lock, one thing I'm going to tell you is make sure you have it in your vehicle when you drop it off. Otherwise, they're going to drill your wheel lock out and they'll probably charge you an arm and a leg. So we're gonna quickly remove the rim from the hub now. As you can see, we're pulling the valve stems so they deflate a little bit. And the next thing that I'm gonna tell you is while you're in here, um, if you are just bringing your rims to the mechanic, make sure you check your brake pads. As you can see, mine's got a lot of meat on it. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna leave these in, obviously. And I took a look in here. Everything looks good. I don't see anything like dripping from the shock, so it doesn't look like my shock screwed and it's made in Germany must be good no. <laughs> so we're all good alright guys so first thing we're gonna do is separate the bead as you can see here again you gotta make sure your tire is flat first because if you don't you're gonna regret this part a lot <laughs> trust me <laughs> so as you can see here just separating the bead and we gotta do that on both sides so, as you can see, the sec, we're just gonna flip it, and then I'll show you the next step. So the next part we're gonna be doing here is we're going to be uh, putting the rim on top of here. You can see these little teeth that are gonna grip onto the rim in a second, and uh, it holds the rim so that way he can separate it using our tire separator, which you will see, it separates from the rim. See, magic. And he's just going to lube it up. And then the claw. And now the claw comes up. Separation. As you can see, super clean and super quick. Now the claw is going to go down and under this. There. See how it's up? Up. Pulls it up and out. And that's how, how we got our old tire off. As you can see, Tariq is now lubing up the rim, giving it a rim job. No, he's lubing up the tire. <laughs> <laughs> now he's got to set this up, and then the claw is going to go back in and help us with this. It's going to now reverse it. It's going to actually feed it on for us. And then now we bring out our roller. You can do this by hand, but it's safer to do it this way. Safety first. See? It's on a gangsta angle, so it's going through. Tight fitting condom. And look! It's on! So now we have to fill it up, and as we fill it, it's going to slowly pop towards closer to the rim. Actually, this one's going pretty good. Better than the last one. Yeah. And so. Yeah, see, it's just going to slowly pop up. So we're going to just fill it with uh, some air now, and then I'll show you. Yeah, you're going to hear a lot of that. Boom, boom. 
All right, so I'll show you the uh, balancing in a sec. Another thing you can notice here is if you take a look, on your tire it's going to tell you which side's the outside and then it's going to say inside, usually on the opposite side. Yeah, it'll say, in, there it is, inside. So you know which one goes to the inside of the car and which one goes to the outside or the inside of the rim. So this is the outside and then the inside is, yeah. As you can see, it's flush. They were done. <laughs> you can see we have the shaft open. He's going to slide it in. Boom! Oh, pops the center cap. And now he puts this on so it squishes. He's going to straighten it up, wind it on. Pick up the center cap. Sweet! Okay. And now he's gonna, if you see there's existing weights, he's gonna remove those just by picking them off. Yay, goodbye with the weights. And now that we know that's good, we start it. <gasps> Completely balanced. Perfect. Wow. Look at that. Wow. Okay, that doesn't usually happen. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you the next one, we put the next one ready. So as you guys can see right here, it says 125, and it shows you which side of the rim that we have to apply it to. So, it makes sense. He's gonna clean it up, so that way our weights stay very nice. And the machine also tells him right there. So we chalk it, we wipe it. He's just giving it a nice polish up, so that way we know that we can just put it there. Look, we need five again. We need five? Go figure, eh? One, absolutely zero marked on. Next one, five weights. As you can see, he's going to put it onto the track. Right in the track. Oh, yeah. And now he's got his roller. Looks like you can cut pizza with it. Oh, we should cut pizza with it. Cut pizza for and then now we're gonna check and make sure. And we're zeroed, done. We can now bolt all the tires back on. All right guys, so as you can see, tires are on, looks sexy. So the next thing is, is what you should do every time you get new tires really, is get an alignment done. The reason why is the last thing you wanna do is chew out your brand new tires. Uh, because you have really bad camber. And I'm not talking about someone who's got, trying to go for a camber stance or something. I'm just saying like, you don't want to wear the inner sides faster. And with one of my tires, I seen that one of them was com had been worn a lot more than the, all the rest. Of course, that can happen just from, you know, gunning it around and having fun in the GTI. But still a good thing to do is check. So first thing we're doing is we're starting up our computer here and we're just going to see what it's going to measure out and stuff. Tariq's gonna do all his mechanical stuff. And look, it's my face. See, face. So, he's gonna put these big things that look like giant dominoes on here. As you can see, he just sandwiches it on the rim. The sandwiches, ooh, jumper cables. And you know why you do that? He's doing this because each one of these little machines that he's putting on the rims is worth a thousand bucks a piece. That's right, the most, well I can't say the most expensive dominoes of all time because maybe there's some super rare domino that is on eBay for like a million dollars because it's the original and it's like domino number one, serial zero zero one or something like that. So yeah, we're just gonna set these up and repeat four times. All our dominoes are set up. It's telling us right how what to do. Now he's just aligning them as you can see. It's telling him which ones are out. And he rolled it forward so it's sitting on these pads. He's pulling the chucks out. And there, as you can see, see how one of the tires or two tires are red? 
Now he gets to play with his thang. <laughs> What's up? Brake pedal. Brake pedal. Make sure it doesn't move. Safety. Or so you can ghost ride your car. Either or. Dude, that's not ghost riding if you're going 100 miles an hour without a driver. <laughs> ghost rider. If there's no driver, it's a ghost. Ghost the riff. <laughs> See, it's giving us numbers now, saying the steering wheel, negative eight. There we go, stop. So he's putting the steering wheel out of position, and it was clicking. Da -da. Tariq's playing with the steering wheel. And we're good. As you can see, we're all in the green. Oh, and now we're one in the red. That's just that. Those dots uh, detect the cameras. Ah, oh, okay. So your rear alignment is good. That's oh, good. sweet. It's perfect. It's all good. Not the rear one. The real one. Oh, perfect. Look at that. That's a level. I am. <laughs> but this is awesome. Now we can show them dominoes. So if you take a look here, my front end is screwed. Is that right, Tariq? What? My front end screwed. Oh, the toe is. I've got like a hella good stance going on right now, right? <laughs> Not as good as that guy driving in the highway, but still pretty good stance. So it was out. Good thing. So, Tariq is going to have to go in here and he's going to have to set my camber. And, oh, sorry, toe, not camber. And we should be good to go, but it's a good thing we checked once again. Remember, like I said, you don't want to get that crappy wear. Yeah, so, he's in there quickly checking the toe. And watch, it's going to change on there. 5.30 seconds, 1.8. 3.30 seconds. 116 and it's good. Sweet. Now he goes to the other side. And as you can see, he's doing his stuff again. And he's bringing this one back. And 160. One thirty second. And one thirty second. Sweet. So technically your toes We're in the green. Are exactly where they need to be. Sweet. I like where my toes are where they should be. Yes, but yes. The tires won't wear out like crap. Did you show them the tires? Yeah, yeah, I did. I showed them how rough that one was and I mean they're all were well they were wearing very uneven in the front, obviously. So it's a good thing we checked. Yeah. Might as well get a printout. Then it shows that we're all good. But yeah, so that's it. Alignment, everything's done. I can expect good wear. And again, this is all the steps you want to take. It can cost you a couple bucks more, but it's worth it because, let's face it. And uh, yeah, I mean, in the end, great things happen. And this is it, Riverside Auto Service. If you ever want to come see Tariq and them for your tires this season, it's a good place to come just because you can either talk with Tariq or Hackem. They're all great guys. I've been dealing with them for a while now. Like, if I need uh, any expertise when I'm doing videos, I come and I ask these guys. And, well, you know Tariq from other videos, so it makes sense. So, and again, if you're looking for tires, these guys can get, like, any tire in. You just have to ask them. If you already know what you want, just come see them. Anyways. Thanks again for watching, like the video, and there you go. That's basically all there is to it. Subscribe for more if you want to see some more on this build. 
All right, guys, so a quick thing for the V-Dub guys is, you know, I've got a Mark VI, and anything basically, say, over a 99, you're going to want to, um, you're going to see a bolt here and a bolt up in there. You can sort of see my finger pointing. Yeah. But, yeah, you loosen that bolt, loosen that bolt, do that on both sides, and then you can adjust oh, your camber. And oh, and this one. Right here and right here. And that's how you're going to adjust your camber. It can be a little bit more tricky with... Uh, yeah, without doing that. Yeah, definitely need two people pry bar. Yeah. Oh yeah, and an alignment machine. So make sure you go to your shop for this. I just thought I'd show you so you know, like for camber, but toe was just back here. Yeah, yeah, right here, which is pretty easy. If you've worked on RCs before, it's your turnbuckle. It's just yeah, it's pretty easy right there. Okay, just thought I'd throw that in there.